feel weird. I feel naked without a hat. It's like I'm supposed to wear a hat. Should we wear the Glock hat? Alright. We're going to wear the Glock hat. Why? Because Glock is great, right? That's what you guys were to say. Anyway, here we go. We're here for another fun and fabulous stream. We have the 30th anniversary Glock hat on, and we are going to do and discuss today some small and favorite issues. We have our HTLRC Hornet. We are going to go for round two on the build on this. The last one went up in flames, and we'll post a link right there. Anyway, so watch for the card on the top. You can watch the fireball from the last event. Um, so after a long debated, heated argument with HGLRC, it turns out that they can't prove or disprove that it was my fault or not that the thing blew up. It was clearly a faulty circuit board because I went through, I rechecked everything. The first thing they told me is the polarity was wrong on this chip. They said that I crossed the positive and negative leads that way. They said I crossed them. They didn't know is that the lead still had the shape from the solder pad because the solder pads are still good on here. Surprisingly, long story short, they were wired correctly. Went through the video, looked at all the video 100%. I didn't fuck this up. It was a shitty board. So, long story short, they are sending me a new board to appease me. And it was kind of like, uh, I don't know. It was kind of, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refrain from commenting. In the end, I am getting sent a new board. But in the interim, I went ahead and purchased another one. Because you know what? Fuck it. I've already tested that the camera still works. I've tested the VTX, it still works, so I know that these two components are still good. Okay, So we're going to reuse those. I haven't had a chance to test the motors yet. There's no current flowing to the motors at the time of the blow-up, so I don't know if they're good or not. Um, how we're going to proceed from here. So there's a couple changes I'm going to make to the way that, that I was doing this initially. I'll probably still free mount, free float mount this like I was going to. I'm going to install the strap this time before I build it because I was fucking retarded last time and didn't do that. So I'm going to cut this strap down to fit in this slot. As you see, this board is a little bit bigger than what they initially intended for this. There's quite a size difference between these two boards. But this is the same board that I have in the Flex RCL, and I know that this board works. I have one right here. Okay, I know that this board is good. So I'm going to use this board because I know this isn't going to fucking french fry my face. So long story short, I'm going to never see one of those again for the rest of my life, and I'm going to stick to things that I know generally are well designed and work. So HGLRC, the 428, that's what we're going to use. And even in a micro build, I don't give a fuck. I'll make it fit, okay? I'll make this little guy fit in there, and it's going to fit just fine. Might be a little snug, but, or it might be a little bulky, but everyone likes likes it a little thick. You gotta have a little thickness on your life. So, long story short, we're gonna use this guy. So, first step first, I'm gonna cut down this real AC strap. This is what I plan to use for the battery strap for this. So, but I need to cut it because it is too big currently. That's current design. So I need to cut probably a quarter of the strap off to get it to fit through this hole properly. Now, I didn't know last time is that my camera was kind of fuzzy and you guys really couldn't see everything properly. So I went ahead and lowered the camera down much closer to the table now. I probably only have 18 inches of space now. I just have to try not to hit the camera when I'm doing stuff. So, But we're going to give it a good old-fashioned swing and a ding. But like I said, first things first, I'm going to cut this strap down, get this strung up so that I can uh, then move on to next the next step which will be to uh, probably look at installing the PDB. I think this time I might do something different too with my PDB install also. So, strap fits nicely now. Let's just go ahead and feed this through. So there we go. It fits now, so that's good. <laughs> Denny! We both know you ain't packing no heat, all right? You can talk all the shit you want, Denny. 
but we both know that Mark's girlfriend will be at your house for Christmas. <laughs> you should send that link to Mark. You'll love it. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, so step one, strap installed. Strap, keep the battery in place. All right, so we're done there. Just make sure it's nice and tight. All right, step two, we're going to start looking at putting our screws back in. Did you watch this thing blow up in my face last time, Denny? I don't know if you're still in there when it blew up. It's crazy, though, this fucking thing. I just went through a five-minute dissertation about how the company tried to blame me for that. For a shitty board. When I know for 100% fact that their board was fucked. They sent me a bad one to fucking try and kill me, I think. For all the shit I talked in my last video I put out about them. Probably. I do talk a lot of shit, though. We both know that that's a true statement. At 7 o'clock, we're going to flip over, and I'm going to still be streaming, but I'm going to watch another guy that's going to be doing an expo, an expose on a, on a new build that he did that he's been testing this week. Super nice guy. I've been talking to him a lot. That's where I got these replacement parts from. So we'll flip over to that. How much money you got burned up? Uh, it was only like, uh, I don't know, 50 bucks. The replacement stuff that I got was, well, I got this motor too, which was 10, so it was like, it was like 55 bucks, because I, I ordered a motor too for the one that I crashed, and those are only 10, so this board was 55, I think, between these two boards, so I mean, it's, it's not super expensive, but, I mean, it sucks, nobody wants to spend more money, unless it's on a crash, but with this hobby, it is a absolute 100% money pit. So if you guys feel like donating to my drone fund, by all means, because yesterday, thanks to some of you fine and fabulous people, I want a new frame. I have a new frame coming from Nidisi. Nidisi? Nidisi? Yeah, I think it's Nidisi. Which is a drone building company. They're sending me a new frame so that I can build. I want it in a competition. So now that we have those installed, I'll remove this stupid QC pass sticker because Lord knows their QC needs a little help. Hello. Say hi, Bugs. Hi. Why are you talking like a chipmunk? Hello. You don't know why you're talking like a chipmunk? Hi. There you go, that's better. Say, what's up, Denny? What's up, Denny? How's life in the Big Apple? I don't know. Well, you gotta ask Denny. Denny's the one in the Big Apple, how's, huh? How's life Big Apple? In the Big Apple. In the Big Apple. There you go. Yeah, but Daddy, can one of these whoops be mine? These are just uh, spare frames for, our, for when it breaks again. And then we got a new camera mount, too, so we don't have to hot glue it anymore. But we'll fix the whoop maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I'll get around to that. That's another project we got to do. But at first, I want to build this little guy so we can race it around the house. You're going to build the whole thing? I'm going to try to. Oh, you're not going to make it again because guess what? Hmm. Remember last time what happened to it? Oh, I'm never going to forget bugs. I was here, remember? Yeah. It blew up in my face, remember? Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, I'm never going to forget that, so. Hmm. Well, I'm never going to for forget. I keep, I told you that. I told you, I know, you that. I know, you, you told you me. Thought you were dead, but I said, no, that wasn't dead. He's fine. I am fine, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you tell them all. You tell all your friends that your daddy is fine. But where you, where you... My face was almost not fine, but... Right? No. If, if your face was on the fire, your face would be black, right? Right? Yes. It would have been nice and burnt. Damn it. As, as soon as I picked that up, they all fell out. <laughs> So at least one fell out. I gotta put that one back in. Yeah, but that's my drone. You know that, right? Maybe. If you're nice. That is my drone. Maybe if you're nice <gasps> and you behave and you listen to your mom, you don't oops, argue with her. Okay. You think you can do that? I don't think. Yay! <laughs> you just said I don't know, and then you said yay. So is that a yes or no? Yay! Alright, well. Yes. If, if, 
If your mom says that you're not listening, then no drone for you. So, I still have a drone. A racing drone. Yeah, but I won't rebuild it until you listen. How do you like them apples? Mm, what's them apples? Huh? What's them apples? It's just a saying. It's just a saying, bugs. How do you like them apples? I don't know. Do you like them apples? I like them. Shoot. Can you grab that? It's on my shorts. Do you put it on there? Yes. Put it on the screw right there. I really should have put all of these on before I picked it up. It's a lesson learned. What do you Nothing? My dad's trying to burn. I'm trying to burn myself up again. You are? Oh, yeah. Hot hunk of burning love. That's me, baby. Yeah, you can blow your face on fire. No, I'm not. I'm not going to blow my face on fire. It's not going to happen. Well, it did once, so... No, it almost happened. It didn't actually legitimately burn my face. Almost. Listen. Listen, Linda. Almost. Tell Marcus. You tell your mom. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You, we saw the video. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We saw the video. It was evidence. Damn the video. <laughs> then you posted it. Damn it, Polian, for posting video that my wife's now holding against me. Okay, but the drone caught on fire. It was right here, then it moved all the way right here, right? That's because I moved it right there. You moved it right there, and it moved itself. Okay, there's one, so I need to get this guy up in there like that. Dang it. I'm going to do this. What's the easiest way would probably just be to take them all off, put the screws through all the holes, lift this board off, put the damn... Where'd that other screw go? Put these st stupid things back on. It's probably the easiest way to do this, so I'm just going to do that. Take, yes, Marcus. Okay. Well, we'll get around to fixing yours soon enough. Okay. Okay. I want to build this little guy first, and then I'll build the whoop, and then I'll build yours. Okay. And okay. my plane, Adley. And your plane. And what plane? The that plane one. that snaps its wheels in. Okay. Uh, the plane that snaps its wheels in. All right. It's a moat control one. Yep. It's true. A, a, a what? A moat? A moat control? A moat control airplane. It's not a what? A moat control. A moat. Ah, moat control. Say remote. Remote. There's an R and the E in remote. Okay. Remote control. You know what a moat is? What? That's like what they dig around a castle, the water pit. That's a moat. Cool. He's out on that note. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. This airplane. It uses hey, 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 it's called a remote. I know. Okay. It's no, no, you were saying moat. It's called moat. No, it's not called moat. It's a remote. Now, could you put my remote back in the box, please? Okay. Thank you. What's wrong with your remote? Nothing. I don't want you to drop it. What's going to happen if I drop it? I'm going to spank your butt. Why? Because you're going to do it on purpose. I don't know. I'll do it on accident. Well, don't do it at all. How's that sound? She's just arguing with your six year old about if you should destroy your stuff or not. Is this what the world's coming to? Is this what I have to look forward to? Uh, yeah. No. Years and years of this ahead of me. Okay, I'm just going to put all four of these standoffs on real quick. That way, the screws don't fall out again. That's because if the screws fall out, then I'm going to start over again. So, I really don't want to start over again at this point. There we go. Alright, so those those are four in. Uh, I just gotta tighten them. So
Just going to tighten these standoffs down under those rubber grommets. We sh yeah, we're good. We're good. Everything looks good. I don't have to worry about that. As soon as I get these down, I'm going to then pre-tin all of these copper pads for the motors. And I'll probably just join the motors since it'll only take a minute. So we'll actually be into phase two of this build very, very quickly. So today I was flying my Martian, which is the, the yeah, latest build. Yeah, that one. Yep. Me and Bugs are having fun in the park with that. Yeah, and my dad did one man. I said you could. I said just don't get in front of it so it doesn't hit you. So anyway, that was an interesting fly, but I haven't flown, so I'm kind of rusty. Yeah, he crashed a little bit. Yeah, I crashed a little bit. But thankfully, we're in a grassy field, and there was no damage done to the drone, right? Yeah, just the batteries going out. So, the drone is still in tip-top shape. That's my expensive drone, so that's why I really don't want to ruin that one. He doesn't want to ruin it. No, I'm actually kind of gun-shy about doing crazy stuff with it, because I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, you don't even want to shoot it with a gun when it's flying. Why did, where did that come from? We're not going to shoot it with a gun when it's flying? It has nothing to do with it. What's, yeah, but what's going to happen with the drone? It's going to blow on fire? No. Would you go do your sentence that you're supposed to do? Go do that. I already did that. You already did? Mm -hmm. Are you done? Yeah. I'm going to ask your mom. Is she going to tell me no? <laughs> She's gonna tell me you've already done it. Yeah. I'm gonna go out. Yeah, that's because you haven't done it yet, you little. What are you doing? Your kid's so damn smart, okay? Did she say yeah? Yeah. I didn't hear her. quite figured out trolling yet. Poor little guy. He'll figure it out someday. Uh, as soon as I let him talk to Denny, he'll probably figure it out. So I'm just going to trim these wires down. My nephew had them a little bit long when he did them. Not that it's a problem, but it's just not how I would do it. Are you soldering? No, I did. I just turned the soldering iron on, though. Why? Because we're about to start using it. Okay. Now we're using it. Yep. Have you burned your finger on soldering iron before? Psst. What? It's stinky. But does it hurt? If you. you smell that burning smell? Not really. These things had like soot or something on them. Can you get me, um, there's a bottle of water right here. Can you go put some water in it, please? Yeah. In the sink? Thank you. All right, we are at the point now where we are going to connect our battery leads. We're going to get this part done. So I'm going to solder up these two pads. We'll get that part taken care of. And then from there, I'll pre-tin all of these pads and all of these pads. So we're going to pre-tin all of our pads so that it's easy when we just go to join. We just basically heat it up, slap the wire into it, and we're good. So we're going to uh, move into this section now. This much water? Yeah, put the lid back on. Then you can put it back down on the ground right there, okay? Are you going to use it to move off the solder? No, but I need water just in case. Why? In case I light you on fire and i got to put you out. And you're going to... Seven o'clock. We're gonna watch that uh, that expo real quick too. All right. I need a piece of solder. I need flux. And guys, we got a new dog yesterday and new fish. What's his name? Uh, uh, Smokey. And guess what happened to my fish are pooping. Your fish are pooping? Yeah. That they they're having a long thing like that wire and the. What are what are your fish's names? They're they're pooping. They, they've been pooping. 
No, no, what are their names? Not their, not their pooping. Uh, Orangey and Patty. Why is one called Orangey? Because he's orange, the orange fish. Okay, and then why is one called Hattie? Because he has a black cap on top of him. Cool. So Orangey and Hattie are your fish. Is that correct? Mm hmm Can you put this in that box over there? I think this is the right one. Where is it? Yeah, put that in that box over there, okay. And we'll always have that with us. Remember I said we need a, a tool? What box? The black one? The fly box. The flying box. Uh, this one? Yes. Lucky sleeping right now. Is he? Yep. I'm gonna get a little closer so I can smell it. You don't want to smell it. It's Why? nasties. Smell like poop? Yep. You told me you want me to smell it. No, I didn't. I never told you that. So don't start putting words in my mouth, okay? Because I don't do that. Can you make the soldering iron go hot? It is, it is hot. <laughs> it can go hotter than 700. It's 700. 700? Can it that's, go? That's plenty hot right there. Hotter? Yeah, but we don't need it hotter. Yeah, but the numbers never end. What numbers? Uh, the numbers when you count. You count what? The numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those numbers. Do you remember how far they go up? Oh, they never end. They do end at one point. Do you remember where it ends? Uh, I, I told you a long time ago where it ends. Where does no? Yeah, I did. One hundred? No. One hundred and fifty-five? No. One hundred? One trillion? No. Infinity <gasps> is the end of numbers, right? What's, what's infinity? I told you. Which kind? How do you make that number? You know. A eight sideways? Yep. See, you do know. Why are you trying to ask me stuff if you already know the answer to it? <laughs> because I keep forgetting it. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I You're do. such a little rat. No, you don't. I know you better than that. You're too smart for that. Is oh. that a clean off thing? Yeah. Why? So cleaning it off. Okay, now we're just going to check. Can you grab me a paper towel over there? Remember the water goes where I told you before it was right here. Not over there. We're going to clean off the extra flux. There's a little excess flux. They are above. Well, they were here, but we've almost taken them. Uh, you go there and grab a roll. There's a roll over there. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure you can get it out. Hey, bitch. Chilling. Just chilling. All right, so we're all tinned up. From here, I'm going to put on the... The positive and the negative. There's not rolls over there? What's that very bottom one by the vacuum? Is that paper towels right there? Or is that toilet paper? Stick your hand in there and pull one out. Come on, you can get it. Is that paper towels? Sure is. Come here. So that's one way to get it over here. Just gonna clean some of this off real quick with some rubbing alcohol. I think it's good. All right, bring it up here. Let's check it out. See what it goes to. Here's the screw. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna clean off the excess flux. Perfect. Put that in one of these. No. Have that. I'll put that right there. I'll figure out what that's through later. You can take the towels. Can you open that for me? Yeah. Thank you. Alright, so I'm just 
going to clean off the excess flux. Give it a little polish with a little rubbing alcohol. Never hurts to give something a little cleaning. Here. You can put them on the ground right there. Thank you. Okay, so that's all clean. Now, oh, we've cleaned that poor little guy off. Let's clean up our workspace. I'll be right, right back. I, I need to go too. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. All right, so from here, we're going to join our wires. One thing we have to be cognizant of is that they are not going to be long enough to wrap around this way this time. So I'm going to have to do a direct solder, maybe kind of an angle. I don't know. i got to try and figure this out now because these wires are all the same length. i got to just check these wires, too. It looks like they still have some solder pads from when the fire from last week. So I'm just going to clean these off real quick, make sure there's no excess solder. Just give them a quick touch with the iron. Get all that nasty smell off them. Burn, electrical smell, char, disgustingness. Get that, we'll clean that all off. Okay. I need a paper towel because I got snot on my fingers. It's nasty flux. I hate flux, it's gross. All right, so I'm thinking that we just come across like this, and I solder down one, and then solder down one, and then solder down one, kind of like that. I mean, I could even cut them a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to cut them. I think I'm just going to solder them, and then I'll figure out some way to deal with the wire later. Because this is a bigger board than what is supposed to be on here. I'm not worried about that. There should be enough room in this drone. I'll make enough room on this drone if there isn't. But I just know this board is very... It's going to work. I'm not going to have any issues with this board at all. Shit, I just want to heat this up real quick. I want to change the angle on this wire so that it's angled this way. Just clean up this bead of stuff. Okay. Wish I had some of that blue tech that Stewie uses. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get this thing to stay still. Okay, so I'm using my finger to kind of hold it down. I'm going to try and push it into that solder with the iron itself, but I don't think it's going to work. I might have to use my handy dandy doodads to get it to do it. Because I don't, I'll probably burn myself if I try and do it just with my finger. one. Not the most beautiful solder job, but I can clean it up real quick. Shit. While I'm cleaning it up, I pulled it off, so never mind. Let's try it. There we go. Alright. That's good. I wonder if I should just come in from the top. And then I'll zip tie the wire down when I have them all set. I'm going to try that. Isn't that nice? My little washer sings you a little song. Sings a little song to you when it finishes its cycle. This is going to be way too long, but... But what I'm thinking I'll do is I will just push these like this and then zip tie them right along the arm somewhere. 
What I probably could do too is take the motor off and twist it a couple times and it would take out all that extra slack. And these motors are only two pointed in, so I'll probably do that because it'll be easy. So I'm just going to join all these wires real quick. Well, I say real quick, but in reality it's not going to be quick. It's going to take me a minute to do it because of the angle that I have to do it at. But it should come out looking pretty good when I'm done. that one. spiked up on me real quick. I just don't want to leave that spike on there. There we go. That's better. You're back! I made a ramp for my car. It was locked. Hang on. Okay. Let's just check them real quick. Um, Are you ready? Hang on, baby. I'm just going to test it. I suppose it's not like good that. Let's see if I can get a good. <laughs> that one was pretty hard. Maybe I'm going to change the angle on that one. I don't like the angle. Okay. Yes, Marcus. Marcus, go, go inside, okay? Let me finish this. Okay, well, if you do, then you can play, but don't try and beg for my attention, okay? Because I'm, I'm trying to finish this, okay? So we can fly this. Do you want to fly this? All right, let me see. Yeah. All right, new angle. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. You're probably going to break your car, though, doing that. Change the angle on it. Okay, all right. Cleaned up that little spike that was on there, too. So sticky to that. Oh, I gotta clean up a spike right here, too. I didn't even see that one. How sticky is that stuff? Don't touch it, okay? It's nasty. All right. There. Okay. Is there anything else funky about that? No, I think that's all right. All right, so let's move on to joining these two, and then we'll move to the other side of the board. So we're going to make sure positive. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Positive. Focus. Negative, okay? Red, positive, black, negative. Okay, as we look at this board, positive is the plus, which is right here. Positive, bottom side, right there. Okay, negative, top side. So these are going to go on just like that, like this. Okay, let me get you back over here so I can work where I can reach. All right, so I'm just going to reshape these real quick because they're kind of jacked. They have a lot of excess solder on them from when it burned up the first time. Okay. Now, well, let's try this again.
I need a little more solder on that pad, so I'll do that in a second. prettiest connection but should work but where I just want to just give it just a little bit more not spinning well, my red lock head up there is jack my roll up from spinning The what? I already fed them. Where did you leave that? It should be on the counter on the on the table. Really? What a little turd. I know well, I didn't know that he was gonna get that. I'm sorry. Okay, that looks good. All right, there we go. Positive, negative. Okay, not reversed. It's not gonna blow up. Don't you love to support your spouse? Gives you, shows you. What are you saying, Noah? Get in the house. Go on, Moo. Go. No. Come on. Let's go put on cars. Stand up. You're gonna hurt yourself. Hmm. Stand up. I'm gonna get this guy around there. Go. It's over the top. Children. Gotta love them. That's why they invented whiskey, right? For the children. Alright, so I'm going to join this little guy right here. I'm going to take an upward angle. It's probably not going to come today, dude. Well, I don't think it's going to. It would have been here by now. Okay. Clean off all this crap off this tip. It's got a ton of crap on it. It's got like flux and all kinds of shit on it. That's why it's spiking, I think. It's going to look nice. So we'll just set the wires right along the, the leg right there. Each of them are protected. I don't see any spikes. There's no shorting. No sign of shorts. Nothing. So I think we're good on that one. So we're on to this last one. This last one, I'm going to do the same kind of plan. I'll just come in high. Okay. Touch down right into the center of this blob so we heat it up.
Is that guy? Okay, those are all joined a little bit. Give this a nice good cleaning real quick. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that'll work. All right, well, that's all done. That part is anyway. I'm going to grab the flight controller. We're going to move into the next part of this build, which will be the flight controller. Which way is the front on this? Hey, Dave. Yes, Marcus. I tracked this whole bottle at one time. You did? Yeah. That's why I was being quiet. Hmm. It's supposed to go like this. Let's hope so, because I'm set up to go that way. And it'll work. Let's do it that way. Alright, so we're good. So this flight controller is going to go on this way. It's going to orient down. And we're set. Oh, i got to put on... I gotta put on the TX3 wire, so I actually have to pull it off again real quick. Because I have to put the smart audio from the TX3 pad, which is right here. So I'm just gonna tin this up real quick. <sighs> All right, now I just need to find a wire. Just a, just a clean wire. I'm going to use this green wire as my, my smart audio wire. That's going to run to my VTX. We'll join these two. Okay, now we're ready to set the song. Is it seven o'clock? Yes, it is. So let's fire this up real quick. My car wants to watch. Your what? My car wants to watch. Your car is watching, I thought. Something stopped you. Why is your rubber band stuck to my stuff? Why did you draw me cards and stuff stuck to my sock? Okay, well, please get it off. Alright, 
I guess I'm just gonna watch this uh, video real quick of let's just put that in there we're gonna continue building as we go all right so we need to tin up the s bus pads which are right here these three these three little copper pads we're gonna tin those we're gonna tin all these front ones because that's all the camera leads and then we're going to tin stuff on the back because it's the additional LED um, So we're gonna tin up these VTXs real quick. We got camera, we got VTX. And then S bus. We're not watching anything. Yep, this hasn't started yet. Let me know what's about to take. Will do. So let's get this fresh solder on here. Get all this extra bullshit off there. Okay. Now let's just cruise along. Okay, those are all done. That's one way I've learned is just tin, leave the solder on the, the iron and just touch, touch the pads and then just kind of add as you need to, but you can get a really nice clean look pretty quickly just by doing it that way. And you don't need a lot of solder from what I've learned so far when you join these wires with these. But I'm just gonna clean off the excess flux real quick because it makes it look like poop and just make sure that I have a good connection with the solder on the pad and if there's anywhere a couple of them when you look at them they need to be just reheated like this guy right here on the LED see how it's not covering the whole pad I'm gonna have to clean that guy up real quick Go on, Bugs. Take a shower. Go. Hurry up. Go. Okay. So I have all this extra wire. I gotta turn this up a second here. It's my buddy Tariq. He goes face. He goes Facebook Live. Hi, Samantha. I gotta talk to him about fucking streaming.
It's hard to hear. Fucking. All right, so I can take these off. I'm gonna desolder these wires off of the VTX. Okay, so now the VTX is going to go to these three wires right here. So 7 volt, 26. I need to pop off this green because this is the OSD. Okay, so I'm reversing all the wires on this because I plan for it to sit antenna forward. So, but the soldering joints are all on the back side, so when I do it this way, 
I can touch these straight straight down to where they go this way. So I'm gonna just solder these on right there. But need to leave it. I'm just going to twist this up. Keep tinning the wires. Okay. So now I'm going to join the wires to the BTX side. And then just kind of set it off to the side. It should be long enough. If not, I can untwist maybe one or two. Here we go. Uh, so between zero and five hundred, uh, can't go over. I don't know. We'll get 
give this one a shot. If this doesn't, you know, if there's something better down the road, then we'll come up with something better. Uh, so Sam, Sam's right here. Come over here. Let me see you. Just do a little bit first. Okay, so Sam's right here. Damn. What up, so, Sam? Um, okay, that's it. So yeah, he says, uh, yeah, price is right, Charles. I was like, yeah, everybody, I'm not really sure the price is right yet. So, so Sam's going to have a couple pieces here. Let's do this number. We use between 1 and 500. And don't worry, Sam, right? These guys are smart. They're going to watch the way your hand goes. Okay, so I'm going to hide that thing. And then, and then put it in the envelope and see it. Is that the number? You pick a number between 1 and 500. <laughs> this is pretty entertaining. Sorry. Hey, look, we're gonna we're doing a build time on that um, on that uh, on that one ten series, and uh, and I'm gonna be giving away the quad. Uh, and and so what now? What's doing is my fiance Samantha is writing the number and putting it in the book, and we're gonna let people guess the number, and the person closest to it without going over wins the ball. I say that if you get it right on the nose, I give you an extra hundred times to come out. I'm not doing that. So we're going to go somewhat price is right, somewhat my own voice. No, uh, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want any part of this because you'll be hated not me. I don't think you'll be hated right now. Okay. All right, guys, I'm just pulling this board off here. If you're just tuning in, uh, hold on, Michael. Michael's jumping out. Okay, Mike. Okay, hold on. I just got to seal it first. Hold on. But I do acknowledge your number. I think this is everybody else. Hold on. And I guess throughout that thing, as people chime in, we're going to need to get an answer to remind us to do that. Okay, is it sealed? Okay, so it's between 1 and 500. And there's no decimal, like it's a whole number. Okay, okay. all right. So, okay, so, um, I, okay, you guys, I know you're posting your numbers, so uh, I'll have to scroll back, but just keep in mind that I guess to make sure this is fair, the first number you post will be the number I use. So when I announce the number at the end, I'm going to scroll and see who put that number down. Uh, I hope two of you don't use it, um, because it's going to be the first person to post it at the point. So please, if you're just getting in here and jab. And, uh, we'll throw 378 out there, and we'll see what happens. They're going to make it make sure they don't pick a number somebody else's name. Nice, nice, okay. Uh, all right, so everybody's counting up the numbers. Uh, please let other people know if you've got some friends on Facebook who are interested. Let them know we're giving this quad away tonight. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty valuable quad. It's got some pretty awesome parts on it. And I swear to God, if I can just get these things on, I will be able to show you more. So, you know, one second, I'm going to take this apart. Um, and, uh, Sam, look at that. You go on the thing from behind me that's right there broadcast on TV and move the mouse off the screen for me so it puts highlights. Like, all right, guys, so um, one of the advantages to this, and, and I don't know if you saw some of the pictures I posted, but uh, one of the advantages to this build is going to be that uh, uh, and it, uh, it applies more to the larger build, but it also applies to this. Is, you know, you'll, you'll be able to uh, remove the center housing, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, as soon as I get these cameras to move out. Uh, and you'll be able to pop it into your frame. That is. Go. Um, okay. I mean, you can't keep changing numbers, huh? Somebody, somebody tell Michael, if you're not changing numbers, please. Once you're in, you're in, guys. Uh, next time I'll post a little bit better. Oh, look at that. Look, well, you realize now that by doing that, you, you, you have to hit. Okay, that's all done. That's done. I just have to join the screen wire.
Now it's out of my possession, out of my hands. I don't want to hear any more about it. Not to speak, let people know about it. Okay? So, let's get going with what we're going to talk about. Um, Alright, Mama. Hey, Mama, can I get a coffee with you in the kitchen, please? Yeah. Thank you, bye, noodles. Alright, that's awesome. I've been asking some of to say how you guys are still friends, but they come again. So, here's what we're talking about today. Um, I'm going to hold up a couple frames, and remember these aren't hand fingers yet because I just pulled them off. I think I'm going to just. Sorry, okay, so okay. The idea behind this is very simple. Uh, I, I think, and, and I think it's a good idea. Um, oh, S bus. So, this is going to be your plate, right? And the idea is that we're basically going to make it up plate. And this is the plate right here. On this plate, we're going to build up the stack. And the stack is going to consist of your ESC, your, your receiver, your ESC, your flight controller, and then your ETX. Above that is going to be a um, basically a standoff. And in this case, the standoff is going to look like this. Okay, this is what the picture. Standoff is going to stand on top, and then there's going to be a cap on the top. Or a, a, a piece of the top. Now, in, in the beginning, the piece that I used was this carbon fiber that I had But it was not designed for this build. It was designed for another build, but I just need something separate. Um, I actually just cut a new one now, and I'll go take it off the bench in a second. But once it stacks up, then you've got your top. Your antenna comes out the back. On the top, your, um, your receiver antennas come out the side. Your camera is underneath and inverted. And um, everything is wired onto this housing. Okay? okay. And then the idea is you can take a frame like this one right here, which is the, uh, the this is the 90 million, okay? And to show you the 80 million, or that, um, actually, I cut this one as well. And the new ones are going to have the Roman numerals. I don't know if that's the old thing, but I actually cut them with Roman numerals in them. Um, and so you have, okay, so it's going to look kind of weird, but. This, this frame is the 110, all right, which is uh, 110, so CX, right? And the 90 is 100 minus 10, so in only the rules the X will go behind the scene. I don't know which way it's going to cross on the screen, but this is what you're going to have. Um, this is what you're going to have right here. So this is the 110, this is the 90, and there is a 100, which unfortunately, this is where I got my problem, is I had not fastened the plane down properly. I was trying to get it separate because unfortunately it had broke. But uh, I'm, I'm going to use my fingers to kind of cover up the broken area, but, and it's not even clear yet. But this would be the, this would be the hunting right? So you've got so you've got a um, just so you can see it. Thanks. Okay, so you've got the 110, the 100, and then you've got the 90. Right? I'm just trying to pull these up. Okay. Uh, the material I use here is uh, two millimeter thick G10 FR4, uh, and you can just, I guess if I find it like this, you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so here's the frames. All right. My goal is that you guys, anybody that orders these, um, is going to get all three frames. Okay, and, and that's part of the kicker of all this is in the smaller series, you're actually going to receive all three frames. And if you watch this to the end and you see the second one, you're going to understand that as long as you have the base, right, which fastens it to the bottom, all you're going to end up having to do is remove the base. All the components come out. There's nothing that you have to um, desolder or, or do whatever. You're basically going to remove the That's done, that's done, that's done. The smart idea is done. Oh, I need to put on the wires for the buzzer.
uh, and let's get to it. I tried to prep some of the stuff ahead of time, but um, I did get some requests to not prep it because you guys wanted to see the complete build. So it will take a little while, but it won't be too bad. Again, you're going to start it up right now, and I'm just going to go grab the iPad so I can switch cameras. All right, here in just a second, you're about to see the uh, feed from the um, from the soldering station, right? And I'll be watching you when it comes up. <laughs> Jeff, trust me, I, I, I wish. You know how many more members and likes I would get if she was the one doing the Phillies? I mean, jeez. But no, the answer is no. Okay, so uh, we should be now on the table here. I'll try to adjust this camera so we get a little bit of better uh, signal. Make sure I got it. Uh, okay, okay, and we should be um, we should be pretty good at the table right here. So right, so it's all set. Now I know we're at kind of an angle here, guys, and I'll try to adjust it if I can. Let me see if I can get it adjusted. Uh, all right, well, since he's going to build a drone. I'm just going to mute this. I was wanting to watch the presentation, but I'll just stick this up in the corner. And I'm going to get back to doing what I'm doing, which is building a drone. So I'm going to turn this down so we don't have to listen to it. He's going to build a whole drone. I'm building a drone now. So I'll just turn it way down and I'll stick it up there. Now we're going to get back to building my own drone. So sorry about the zoning out right there. I'll explain what I was doing in the interim. So I soldered on the VTX wires, which as soon as this thing focuses, you'll be able to tell. Focus, 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 focus. Okay. So anyway, I soldered on the VTX wires. They're soldered on now. The VTX goes across the whole drone. It's uh, because the antenna is going to point from the front to the back. That's the way that the manufacturer makes it. So that's the way I'm going to make it. Right here we have our plug for our camera. So this will actually just reach. It only has to reach this far. So, so this camera is going to sit just right here. So this camera will sit right here. So that plug just has to go up there and plug into it basically. So as you can see, the, the run on this camera is a very short run. It doesn't need a bunch of space or anything. But I just got to make sure it doesn't get smashed by the VTX right now. The uh, I've soldered on my FR Sky. It's already bound. I bound it last time when it blew up. I don't know if this still works or not. We'll find out one way or another. I should probably cut the heat shrink off it and just check it. So I might do that. I got to put this rubbing alcohol away before it gets us all high and we blow up and light on fire because that would be all bad. We're going to put these standoffs on. So here our next step is to screw these standoffs on and then once these are all on I am going to uh, put the VTX all the way on Oh shit Is this leaking? Oh Marcus, damn it I had him fill this up, and he didn't put the lid all the way on, so it's just there's water all over the floor now. Where did you have him fill it up for? Because it was out of water. Can you get a towel? Can you tell him it was very close? It's Look out, Moo, there's water everywhere. Yeah. Look out. Yeah, it's fine. Just give me that towel. He's showing you his jammies. Oh, you got, you got cool jammies on, Moo. Who's on your jammies? Oh. Who's that? Say, no, Kaka. Oh, water everywhere. I thought it was rubbing alcohol. No, move. Yeah, that's fine. And it sucks a little bit. Damn it. Sucks. Smart out. Damn it. Sucks. Come on, Jonathan. Let's go. Jonathan, come on. Alright. 
Jonathan, let's go. Come on. Let's go. No. Go. Get in the house. Oh, watch for your party. Alright, back to what we were doing. What up, Bounty? Welcome to today's stream, bro. So, last time I built this with my nephew, we built it together. It fireballed. It fucking blew up. So I ordered new components. I ordered better components. Well, it's not really better. I mean, it's same manufacturer, but a bigger, more higher amperage board is what this is. So, and I've had success with this board. Whereas the other one, yeah, it critical melted. So, but I'm just in the process of the finishing touches. We should have this thing hopefully together in the next, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. It's going to be my guess. So the last, one of the last things I have to do is I have to solder this onto the third pin, which is that one right there. So this has to get soldered on right here. So I'll just put that on. Um, goes that way, that goes that way. So there's, there's a piece that I need that goes in here. Where's the fucking piece that I need? Yeah, I need this piece. This thing has a lot of squeeze pieces in it. It's the one thing I don't really like about this design. Like, it has this piece on the top that gets squeezed in. I'm not a huge fan of squeezing shit in. I'd rather just screw it in, but... But... So we'll set this in... Right here. Look at that. See how it's got these squeeze pieces? camera squeezed in, this is squeezed in, and then the last thing is the actual LED and buzzer strip also gets squeezed in to the frame. So, somehow it gets squeezed in there. It's supposed to be anyway. Why aren't you squeezing it in? See? This is why I don't like squeeze shit, because I'm already losing pieces. So anyway, that gets squeezed in there like that. This gets squeezed in here like this. But these wires are going to be too short, I think, because they need to come all the way across the drone. Yeah. No, actually, it might be long enough. We're missing a screw, but maybe. What do you mean you're missing a screw? And you're holding the screw. It's in your hand. Oh yeah. This is the screw. Okay. So this goes in here like this. So this goes into here like that. Okay. Okay. And now you're ready to set your wheel on like this. Okay. okay. And then you just gotta make sure that that stays in there. Okay. And now. You screw it. Yep. You just put that in there. Spin her on in. Here you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, but in car three, we don't use the dip. Let him clean what he's racing. Okay. Tight. That's good. Let's just tighten them all again. Make sure they're all tight. You were pretty hard on this toy if the wheel fell out again. Uh, I dropped it. I dropped it on accident. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. I yeah, but look how clean the tires are because I clean them with soap. Cool. Good job, baby. You're quite the little cleanly guy, aren't you? All right, so let me just look at this real quick. I just got to figure out what I have on my list. I don't know shit about drones. Well, I can educate you, my friend, because I have built now. Well, I'll show you. It's easier if I just show you. I have built now, well, there's the the latest and greatest. This is my most expensive drone. That's my real AC Martian, but I got it really good. I got Armitan Velvet Motors. I got a bunch of good shit in it. This is a Furious 220. That's what this one is. I just crashed this one horribly. Bent one of the, the rotor, or not the rotor, but one of the motor bells, one of the, the little bells for the motor. So I, I got a brand new motor. I got to put that on. This is a Flex RC Owl. 
I built this guy. This is the first drone I built. I actually fucked it up the first time I built it, and I had to rebuild it again. So I built it twice. And then, obviously, I snapped the arm. This is a Furby at, uh, X215. I snapped the arm off this one, and it crashed. So I've learned quite a bit about drones in the, in the last few months, just breaking them and then repairing them. So this guy is a Hornet. He's obsessed with this racing drone. I'm obsessed with him? Yeah. Say for good reason. I love drones. They're awesome. What? Uh, hmm. What? Can I show them how clean my car is? I don't know if they want to see how clean your car is. Do you guys want to see how clean his car is? It's very clean. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to set, i got to look at this. This is the buzzer and LED strip on the back of the drone. I'm just going to solder those on. Look how clean it is. Yeah, it's very clean. It's very clean. And, uh, and you cleaned it where? Uh, with soap. With soap. Awesome. All right, let me get back to this, Kix. I want to finish this, and I'm almost done. <laughs> you just need to put the props on. No, we're not that far yet. i got a little more soldering to do, okay? So let me finish this, and then I'll come, and I will play with you in your car. Okay. It's LED positive. So which one of these fucking things? Okay. Who be? That's fine. So the white is the input. The black. Okay, so the red and black are for the buzzer, and the white and black are for the LED. So. This got a little charred. This used to be white. As you can see, it got fried in a fire we had on the last time that we built this drone. This drone fucking incinerated in my face. My nephew was helping me on the build, but it was a faulty power distribution board that basically exploded. And it almost the eyeballs on fire. You can see it here on my stream. What's the fastest the drones go? If I put a 5S battery on this drone, this drone would do 120 miles an hour. So. This guy, they, they fucking scream. So this little guy will do 75 when I'm done with it. So this little thing, look at this thing. This thing's the size of my fucking palm. It'll do 75 miles an hour. Isn't that crazy? I'm going to get a speed gun. One of these days I'm going to get a speed gun. And I'll actually, uh, actually give you chronos when I'm flying. I bought a bunch of cool shit because I, I fully intended to go crazy with this hobby. I bought uh, an, El, an Elgato HD capture. It's basically for uh, laptops. Like this one I bought is for laptops. And what, what happens is my goggles, this is kind of cool, so I gotta show you everything. My goggles output a video, an analog video feed. So these are the goggles that I wear when I fly FPV. So, these goggles actually have an output for audio video. You see right here, that black hole right there. So, when I plug this in, I would get analog video and audio from my goggles. Whatever I'm seeing on the goggles, you then would see in this video. That would then go into a, uh, a converter from analog to digital. It would then be pushed to 1080p across that converter and then that converter would go to that capture card and then I'd be able to stream live on Twitch my goggles what I see. But the laptop I have is too old. So I am not able to do that currently because I need a USB 3.0 capable laptop and mine is only a 2.0 because it's old. So I haven't been able to execute on that. Normally what happens right now is I take the I take this webcam and I put it in a secondary pair of goggles I have, and that's how you watch me fly when I stream flying from my house. But I want to get I want to get into that streaming from the field because I'm that shit's bitching. So and I'd be the only person on Twitch doing it. I think everyone else streams on like Instagram and stupid shit. Nobody wants to watch Instagram. So this is the ultimate first person game. So and you're actually flying a legitimate object that you build. So that's why I enjoy it.
So, but let me just focus real quick. Let me get this part done. So I can wrap this thing up and then we can put the blades on and do all that shit and start testing it. Make sure everything works. Actually, at this point in time, I should probably plug it in and see if it blows up. You knocked your door. Okay. Well, I built it this time, so last time Joe was it. And Joe was the one that made it explode? Yeah. So let's see if it goes fucking nuclear in my face again. Well, let's hope not, because I'm plugging it in. Okay, red is to red. Here we go. Not yet. I'm not sticking my face any closer. Video transmitter's on. All our lights are on. I don't know if our radio's on, because I can't see it. So success up so far. This is the battery it flies on. This is a three cell battery. 3S, three cell, one, two, three. You can actually see them in these tattoo batteries, so. That's what they fly on. Okay. They use a lot of amperage, these drones do. Can, can you me? not touch my chair, please? Thank you. What do you want to show? Uh, can I show you which the battery? Uh, it works for my racing drones, please. They're in the bag over there, on the, on the table. All right, Marcus is going to talk to you about batteries and drones while I do this real quick. I'm going to solder these on. This is the battery for my drone. you got to put it where the camera can see, which is over here. That's the battery where my drone uses because that's Two the, cell. one of these ones blew my drone up on fire. No, it didn't go on fire. Oh. Oh, somebody put it on the wrong way. No, that's not what happened. It crashed in the tree and blew up. That's what happened. Alright, cool. Thank you for sharing. It's, it's the real battery it blew up. Let's see if I can find it. What, the bad one? The actual battery that blew up? I'm going to turn off my solder iron right now since I'm not using it. I don't want it to sit and just cook. I don't know, baby. You'll have to find it. What did they say? Who, the people watching? Yeah. We just got Bounty Hunter in here. He's just hanging out. He's watching us build a drone. Listen. But by the time you get home from school tomorrow, it'll be flying. If it doesn't blow up. Let's hope not if it not blow up. My plane's taking forever, too. I'll tell you the cool part about building these things now is, like, it's really got me back into doing electronics, electronical circuits, like electrical circuits. Uh, working on that stuff. It's all the shit I did in the Marine Corps, which is cool. So I'm actually utilizing my Marine Corps training. But, uh... Actually, why did I turn my solder on? Is that tired in the Marine Corps, okay? Bugs. What? Don't be rude. Yeah. So it's got me back to figuring all that stuff out. Like, I fixed my fish tank light yesterday because it was bad. It got there. corroded to the point where it melted the lead, so I soldered a wire onto the circuit board <laughs> to fix it. Everyone's like, why don't you just buy a new one? It's like, why? I can just fix this one, so... That's the good part about getting back into this stuff. So I utilize all these skills that I have that I haven't used in 15 years. And if I could make a full-time career out of building drones, I would. I love doing it. So for me, it's kind of a safe. It's a safe place. It's nice and calm. And I might fly faster than that. Go faster than that drone because I'm bigger than it, right? Yep, that's right. Am I? Stronger than it? Um, I don't know, are you? I don't know. You better start eating meat if you want to be stronger than it. I eat, eat meat sometimes. All the time? No. Why not all the time? I still eat I I eat meat sometimes. Why not all the time? Okay. What do you mean you don't know? I didn't eat real You're gonna eat it right now?
Are you still hungry? Is that what you're trying to say? Now I'm just joining these onto the pads that correlate with what they are. Fuck. Keep pressure on it. Sometimes this is the hardest part is joining these fucking things. It's that guy. Okay, so now I have LED ground and I have LED positive, so and they're always fucking reverse. So the white is gonna be my input. And the black is gonna be my output. All right, there we go. All that bullshit is now soldered on. Okay. That's about where it should sit too, so. It should sit somewhere right there. Okay, from here now I can put the VTX on. Talking about me. Watching my buddy Tarek right now. He's building a drone. Also, he's a great guy. Super nice. Helped me out a bunch when I had an issue. So, just trying to support him. He's on Facebook though. I don't know why these guys fucking stream to Facebook. I guess they just don't know any better. So you get kits or build them, or do you have to get one? So this one came as a kit. So I bought this as a kit because I wanted to be like the first guy ever to build one. Because normally the manufacturer builds this drone. And then you buy it as a, what's called a bind and fly or a plug and play. There's two different types of drones that you can get. So, and if you ever want one built, or if you ever want to put custom stuff on one, just come to me. You buy the parts, I'll put it together for you, and then you can fly it. And then when you crash it, you send it back to me, I'll fix it. It's kind of what I'm thinking of doing, just starting a custom building drone, like for guys that don't want to solder, that are scared of it. Just start doing it for them, because I enjoy doing this. It's like therapy for me. It gives me something to, you know, calm myself and just work on my creativity, because to me, this is being creative. And you say, well, how is this, it's like... It's laid out a certain way. How's that creative? I don't know. Just for me, I feel that I feel that creative vibe when I build these things. So, you know, my thoughts are, why not? If I enjoy it, why not? It's kind of what I'm thinking. So, and I really, I really enjoy doing it. So, I mean, other than that, I don't really know. My retirement finally went through, so I don't really know what I'm going to do at this point with myself. If I could make a little side money and build drones for people for fun, for fun for me, but for them it's fun too, but, I mean, the drone only costs, like, the biggest thing about this too is the cost on these things are not what they used to be. Like, everyone's like, oh my god, a Phantom's like a thousand dollars. It's for a Phantom. This thing right here is 150 bucks. Like, the whole setup I have is, I bought more expensive goggles, but you don't have to buy the expensive shit. You can buy... Goggles for forty, a controller for hundred. I'd buy a, I, at the minimum. I would say is a hundred dollars for a controller because you just want to get one that you can use on everything. So you spend a hundred on a controller, you spend forty on goggles, and you're flying. And then you spend one hundred fifty. So I mean, you're you're probably in five hundred bucks, really. That's probably a fair assumption. I just got to make sure for sure that I solder this on the right pin. One, two, three, third over. No, all right check again. One, two, three. So it's that one. So you're flying for, you know, 300, 400 bucks, but flying is generally not the problem. It's crashing. Crashing's the problem. Then you have broken shit. Like all my drones were broken up until yesterday when I got parts finally. So, 
but that's part of getting better. That's part of doing the fun stuff. You know, it's part of doing the flips and the tricks and the getting really bitching YouTube videos. And it all comes from crashing. <laughs> like, even the pros crash. And I like it when the pros include their, their video showing them crashing. Like, most of the time they edit it out or they don't use the clip that has the crash in it, but some guys do. And these guys are doing just the most insane shit. And then you see them crash. And you're like, fuck. Even these guys are. Even these guys are fucking crashing. So it's like, man, I don't feel bad now. Because I suck and I'm crashing and these guys are pros and they're crashing. So it's all good, man. This, this whole sport is about learning to, I guess, control, gain control. Learning to crash, learning to fix it, learning how to fix them, learning how to adjust them. Like just having fun. This is all fun to me, so I enjoy this shit. That's why I like building these things. I got a puppy today, so I heard, just heard my kid down there yelling. I think I'm just going to use these standoffs. Because, you know, these screws, like these little nuts, like they suck. They're so fucking small. Like they're really shit. Like they're really shit to put on. They're really shit to take off. I don't need the space, I don't think. So I'm just going to use the rest of the standoffs that I have. These standoffs are the, the spacers, basically, that you put between boards to separate them. But it's like, they're also good for nuts. It's, I mean, they're nylon, they're all that bullshit. This board isn't going to move when I put these all four of these on. So I'm thinking I'm just going to use these. Because these are a hell of a lot easier than those tiny-ass little nuts to screw on and off. going on here. Having some sort of technical difficulty. That guy's not threading properly, so let's get him to thread properly. The big thing about these nylon nuts is you just gotta push them down when you screw them in. But once they're in, they're in. They're tight. They'll cinch all the way down. Keep the board all nice and tight. So when I say stack, okay, what I'm talking about when I say stack, I used to be into RC car. I mean this is just an RC car. It's all this is. The only difference is it has a camera that you fly with. So it is a, a front looking camera. That's what this is. So when you fly, you're flying looking through this lens. So, and if you tune back tomorrow, I'll have this guy done. We'll be ripping it in my front yard. I have a course set up in my house because I'm a psycho. But I'm thinking I'm just going to stick this like this. It's going to come over the top like that. And now I think we're ready. Shit. I lost that thing. I'm just gonna twist up that the excess cable. I had this this piece, but I don't know what the hell I did with it. It gone. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the camera. I'm going to try to anyway. Okay, camera's plugged in. So I guess what I should do before I go any further is just test it again and make sure now that we have all the components basically installed, that all the components now work. The camera works, we're broadcasting video. Um, we can check the receiver to make sure that this receiver is on and working. Where are you? Oh man, I might have to use the different. I might have to use the different screws. So the issue I'm having is the frame right here. So what I might have to do is use these smaller, the smaller nuts, and then I might have to cut the screws down. In length so that sucks that it didn't work out the way I wanted it to so in the end of the day I'm gonna have to use these shitty ass tiny screws that I fucking hate which are right here so I gotta use these tiny little nuts but before I go any further I'm just gonna put this one nut on I'm going to plug the camera back in and I'm going to power it up and make sure that 
we are getting video feed out of this because everything is now going to be hooked up. So everything in regards to this drone is hooked up. So we are good at this point. Where'd the battery go? Okay, it's either gonna magma or it's gonna work. I'm gonna back up just in case the light's on fire again. Now it's frying my face. If this thing fucking burns up this time, I'm done with it. So I'm just gonna grab my oh god, don't drop shit. These are the goggles that normally I would use to stream the flying with. So let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. We have solid video. So the drone is assembled correctly. Everything is working. We have video output. What the fuck is all that on the screen? Oh my god, that's some serious aids. So we know it works. I'm gonna unplug it because I just don't like leaving these things fucking plugged in right now. Since the last time it blew up in my face, I need to check this receiver to make sure this receiver works though. So to do that, I'm going to have to leave it plugged in. So before I do the final assembly, we should probably get the receiver to work in case I have to take it off. So I don't want to put it all together and then have to take it off and then take it apart. So to do that, I'm going to see if I can get it to connect to my computer. And then I'm going to try and get it to bind or see if it's still bound to my radio. So gotta like put pressure on this plug because this plug's all fucked up because my kid broke it. Alright. So I should be able to see. I need to open a program on my laptop here and you'll be able to see the drone itself in its configuration. Should come stock with beta flight. Daddy, I'm smoking the noose. Where is he? He's right there. Well, he's fine. Welcome to OpenTS. I went a little bit more expensive when I bought a radio. Oh, good morning. I bought uh, the two hundred dollar radio instead of the hundred dollar one. Let's see if it'll connect. No. No connection. This is an Omnibus F4. Let's see if we can flash with the latest firmware. Okay. Oh. Just trying to connect this fucking thing real quick. This cable might be a piece of shit. I might have to go get a different cable. Is, this, is it ever a good sign when you have to put your battery on the cable to get it to work?
fuck? Jesus. Helps if you fucking plug it into your computer. Jesus, I'm a moron. It's all bad. Anyway, thank God it didn't blow up. That would have sucked. Oh, let me turn on the screen capture so you can see what I'm doing. I'll show you. It's going to freak out for a second, but you'll be able to see the gist of what I'm doing. Okay. So we're going to come in here. This is the drone itself. Okay. Now we are in the drone configuration. We're going to try and configure it. So we're going to start tweaking the configuration on it. We're at this point now where we can hopefully get away with this. It's already set for D-Shot 600. That's good. We can turn the PID loop frequency up to 8K. This is an F4 flight controller. means that it can handle a lot of that. We don't have a, bar a barometer. We can leave the accelerometer on it, which is fine. We're going to put a custom name on it, which is going to be Hornet. Capitalize the H, because that's the, what this craft is. It's the Hornet. We are using an S bus receiver. We're going to save and reboot. Switch warning. I'm going to get into my drone itself. I'm going to switch back off to the Hornet. Throttle warning. Because I've already bound. I bound it when it blew up that one time. So I'm going to just see if. This shit's gonna work. We don't have any signal yet. It's the only thing that might be screwed up is the ports. I'm gonna reconnect. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that to see if it's connected with my radio. I might have to cut this huge shrink off and just make sure that the radio is actually on. Since it flash fired last time, it might have fried this radio. I don't know. It's the only thing I haven't checked is this. So uh, I just thought I would try it once it's configured properly. See if it works. If it doesn't work, then we will cut her open and check her out. If I cannot get it to connect, then I have an issue. That's probably going to be a dead receiver because it fucking got smoked last time when this drone blew up. No, I'm not doing shit. So I'm going to unplug everything. I'm going to cut open this heat shrink. I'm going to see if I can uh, re. If it's actually working, and if it's working, then we'll rebind the radio to it. I'll show you how that process works. It's a very easy process. I'm just being lazy. So, because I don't... This heat shrink's a fucking nightmare to cut open. It sucks. It's good heat shrink. That's why. I almost wish I had something to cut it on. Before I chop my fucking finger off. Let's cut it like this. This shit is not easy to get off. Let me keep the comment screen up so I can see when you talk to me. <coughs> There's a lot to the drones nowadays, man. They're not they're not just a simple RC toy anymore like they were at one point but they've evolved into a whole sport and a whole different kind of airplane racing and you know a very competitive you know thing and there's there's dudes that make a living now just streaming flying them so there's a dude that uh, a guy that I watched UAV futures and that's the guy that got me into it because he was building one that he you know $99 build and it was, you know, for a hundred bucks, you could be flying. 
So was, that's what sold me. And then I ended up spending like way more than 99, but it was just kind of the triggering point to me was that it's it's so fucking affordable now to do that it's not crazy expensive. Like I'm not buying a DJI Phantom for 50. I'm gonna cut my fucking finger in a second. That's gonna suck. I'm just going to take it nice and slow. Because I know if this thing slips, I'm, I'm losing a piece of my finger. So I'm going to try not to lose a piece of my finger live on Twitch. Even though you guys would probably love it. So you guys are all mongoloid, bloodthirsty freaks like me! But to me, I have more... This is more fulfilling for me to stream this than to stream like Arma or... Any of those games that we used to play. I mean, I don't, I don't enjoy streaming video games because I'm too focused on playing. I think Patty play. loves to eat anything, including Legos. Yeah, you gotta be careful on that one. Look at with his medicine. He loves it. Look at him. Look at. What? Do you love it? Yeah. It's so tasty. It's so weird. Dead dead. Okay. Damn it, I cut that one on accident. Let's go back inside. You guys gotta be careful with him. He's a puppy. And you guys are like running around a lot. And he's not used to that. He loves it. He, yeah, but he kicks and he can laugh. I think he's a, attracted to our socks. He's attracted to your socks? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Chop my fucking finger off. You anyway, know, I got a puppy today, like I was telling you, and uh, so my kids are all excited. My wife, it actually made my wife happy for once. She's been pretty pissed off lately, so it's nice to see her actually laugh and happy and stuff, so. Puppies have a way of doing that, I guess. I finally got that shit off, and I cut the power wire in the process, so I got to resolder this power wire. On. Plus, these, these, these wires are all shit, at least my nephew soldered them on. They're terrible. You watching, Joey? You gotta work on your soldering skills. You leave the wires way too fucking long. Hope this thing's still long enough. I'm gonna unwrap it. More than likely, yeah, it'll still be long enough. But dude, you gotta trim these fucking. It's like having long ass fingernails. They're way too long. These wire ends, they only need to be like a smidgen in length. They don't have to be super long. So when you're soldering wire, like you're pushing the wire into the solder. So you don't want to have a bunch of the wire exposed out the end. I mean, you want to keep it all nice and tight and clean. So if you have a bunch of wire exposed, that's just going to leave room for a possible short in the future. So you really don't want to do that. Woo! Fuck, that's hot. That got warm real quick. This is the one of the ways that I clean my soldering iron off. You'll see it start to develop a bunch of black shit on it. So I can heat up a bunch of solder and tap it off and all that black shit will go off with the solder. So that's one way to clean them off. It's the way that I found. Oh shit, I should have paid attention. But I remember that S bus is the square, and that, so the receiver itself, I remember S bus is the square, and I think it goes power and then ground. So. Just clean the tip off. Spend the money, buy a Heiko soldering iron, and they're so good. Such a good soldering iron. So well put together. Doesn't oxidize. Like, it, you have to leave it on for probably, I think I left mine on for like a day, and it still didn't oxidize. Real quick, I'm just going to check the wrapper on this. Oh, I know. But see, I, Arma was, when we played Arma, it was just a dead game, dude. Nobody cared about Arma. We love the tactical realism of Arma, you know? It's 
one of the, the drawing points of that game for me was the fact that you could do so much and uh, I don't know man it's just we kept getting banned and everyone was pissed off at us because we just kept killing everyone and they couldn't beat us so it's just whatever people are just they hate me because they ain't me right you know what they say where the flipping hell is all my receivers at is it up here? No. 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 Every drawer. Damn, am I out of FR Sky receivers? No, oh, here's one. It's all buried. All right, here we go. That's what I was looking for. It's the wiring diagram. That's the other cool thing about this hobby is that uh, you know you get to get back into doing this shit. So I know the square, so the the, the power is the middle one. So we're gonna take red to the middle. We're gonna take the blue, which is the S bus, which is the the standard transmission, I guess, for my controller is the blue. Okay, so now we got the transmission wire set. Now I'm just going to touch on Where's that guy. Last one I'm going to do is the ground. This guy's got some schmegma on it. Burn off the schmegma. Okay. Now I'm just gonna. This wire is a little bit longer. I don't want to take it off though. I don't want to cut it and then restrip it and then retin it. So I'm just gonna wrap it like this. So it'll go around the whole wire bundle. I don't know a couple times. And then once I come around enough that I feel it's short enough, I'll bring it back in and then solder it on. And it'll. It'll be much more manageable. We're going to go for a left hand. Alright. No, it didn't stick. Fuck. Thought I pushed hard enough. That got it. I think that got it. Mm, I'm talking shit about Joey's soldering and look at mine. Mine looks like shit. So Oh, yeah, I could. Yeah, let me do that. Let me get you back to the full production view. I'm just soldering on this is what so this is the actual FR Sky receiver. So the type of radio I use uses this type of receiver. So I'm just going to clean up real quick this the soldering that I did right now. And basically all I'm gonna do is just touch onto those wires. Shit. That actually came off. There we go. Okay, now there's more solder that's holding the wires on. It doesn't feel like it's going to be as flimsy. I just have to make sure it's not shorted. No, they're not. But that guy could. So I'm going to clean off the tip and then get rid of the little spikes that are on it. Inactivity 
Fuck. All right. So, just struggling right now because it's. I gotta pull this red one off and just redo it because it's like fucking dog shit. The wire came all out of it, so. I need to uh, fix this guy. Because you look at the wire, it's just going fucking crazy. All the solder came off the wire, so it wasn't staying together. So it was like fucking going nuts. So now all the solder on this side of the board is all jacked up. Fuck. Alright, I gotta redo this. It's fucking pissing me off. I'm gonna retin this guy. It's my radio, basically. Yelling at me to turn off, to turn it off. I'll do that in a second. I wasn't hoping to spend this much time doing this, but proven to be difficult. So I'm gonna get it done right now. What up Darius? What up little Darnell? My radio wants me to turn it off since I'm not using it. That's what it's yelling at me to do. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for the old left hand approach again. Grab a little bit of extra I got. It's gonna probably fry my finger right now, but. Who's that guy? Come on, fucker. Okay. I'll just redo this last one that I haven't touched yet. Probably turn my radio off before it drives me nuts. It's just micro soldering, man. This is the hardest part of any of these things. But usually this is not this hard. So today this is just this is just fucking giving me a run for my money. I think last time I was doing this, I was fucking pissed drunk. But what I'd normally do is I would use a a pin system on this. And I, would, I would use three three pins to do that, but today I'm not doing that. Why? What's he doing? Pee. Well, he's got he's full of pee. You see how much water he drinks? He needs to calm down. 
Okay. So get him to calm down. Look at him. Where's Psycho? Where are you, Psycho? Where are there any socks in here? No, that's nice. Sheep. Where's my socks? Fucking water. Just pissing me off. Who's this? John, who's this? There. I finally got it to where it's acceptable. I'll just take a really good look here to make sure that. He can't be let down in here because he eats anything that's on the ground. Right. I don't see any jumpers across, so. Well, let's see if we'll light the world on fire, shall we? Oh, yeah! Fire ball! Oh. What, are you turning it on? Uh, I found! What's that noise? It says it's still bound. You're piss pants. Who's piss pants? This dog. Dog loves you. Alright, well, let's go back to. This one. Move. Step back, Jack. Come here, Jonathan. What? Are you smoking? Mommy. What? Um, you said it's fucking. We're smoking. Yeah. All right. Can I help you? Mommy. What? Okay, we can help her with one house. We can help her. Okay, smells like nothing. Oh, there we go, boys. We got radio signal. All right. So we are good there. Now we know 100% everything on this drone works. Actually, I'm just going to plug it in and just check the video one last time before I go through all the hassle of putting it back together. I know it's now connected to my radio. I know the radio is sending it inputs. I know it's getting the inputs. I'm just going to make sure we have video. We have video. All right. Well, and now we're on to the next stage of the build, which will be the final assembly. So we're going to build it out to be fully what it's going to look like and B. So, whew, no fireballs yet. <laughs> no fucking fireballs yet. That's making me feel better about my life. Uh oh. One of our LEDs came undone. I don't know how the fuck that came off, but it did. So let's try and just jump that back on. This is just a ground wire for the LED. Came off its solder pad, so I'm just going to try and touch it without burning my finger, which I'm probably going to burn my finger, but I'm going to try not to burn my finger. I'm going to try and just touch these two back together. I'm just going to set this like that. I can just get it to stay right there. That's where it's nice to have fingernails. Okay? I'm going to tell you why. Because if you accidentally touch your fingernail with the soldering iron, like you're going to fuck your fingernail up, but it's your fingernail, right? You're not going to feel it. Whereas you touch your finger with it. That's a whole nother a whole nother world of anger and pain and angst. So I'm gonna take these standoffs off. I'm gonna put the nuts on. And then uh, there's some little other things that I'm gonna do.
I gotta find that little piece with the circle. I don't know where the hell that went. I'm gonna turn off my soldering iron for now. I don't need it. That little uh, squeeze piece. I don't know where the hell that went. That was in here. That was it. Fuck if I know where it went. Strippers up. Hmm. I don't know where that little fucking squeeze piece went. Let me throw all this wire in my bag of wire. You always keep a random assortment of wire because it gives you all the colors, different sizes. So you always generally would save your wire, the bigger pieces. I mean, the, the tiny little pieces you just pitch, but always the big pieces, you know, because you never know when you're going to need some wire. So I have quite the assortment of wire going. The good news is I won't have to order any wire because I have so much of this shit just that I'm accumulating on building these. So, all right, but on to the next phase. Okay, we're going to do the assembly. I need to reheat shrink the receiver. I wish I had clear. If I had clear, I'd use it because then I could still see the, the dots little blinky lights. There's two little LEDs here that'll talk to you. I don't have any clear, so I gotta use black, but uh, we'll end up re-blacking it. Oh, I gotta, I'm gonna have to cut these screws down, because the stack is actually taller than what was intended. These screws are longer. So, I'll take my, my wire cutters and I will cut these down to a more manageable level to where I can actually close this off. kind of a pain in the ass. I've done it before. It's not very fun, but it works. So even cutting it with wire cutters, I can still take the screws on and off. It's just more of a pain in the ass to get them to go on because you have to like line them up better and then push them. So Normally what my buddy that I'm watching over here on my phone, Tarek, does is that he'll take hot glue at this point and then hot glue all the wires on them so that they won't break or come off. I might try it. Once I get to my final assembly point, I might just run the hot gun or the hot glue over all of them. Hot glue is really easy to get off, too. I mean, you just fucking rip it off, so... I don't think it has any insulating purposes. I think it's purely just to keep the wires from breaking off like that one uh, LED wire did for, for us a minute ago. So how... So I need to cut most of that wire, that screw off, to get this to sit to where it's supposed to go. The good news is, is that it will fit, but I need to cut like the top portion of that screw off. So let's do that real quick. your eyeballs. Okie dokie. Let's set this back in. Do we need to cut more off? Just a hair. I could actually just take a file to it and knock it off, but I'm just going to cut it again. Okay. I need to cut the front one just a little bit more. These things are going to be a fucking nightmare to put back on. So let's hope I don't have to take it apart. Okay. Now we got the clearance we needed. It's off those screws. So we have the clearance we need. We are ready to assemble.
One thing I gotta make sure I do is re squeeze this thing in. I need to find that top thing if I'm gonna squeeze that in. It's like the antenna stabilizing mount or whatever the f oh, I gotta cut these other screws too. So let's cut these down. So I'm just going to cut them as low as I can get them on here. Whatever. Like I said, if I have to, down the road, I have to take this thing apart. And I can't get the screw back on, I'll just file it flat again. And then once the screw is flat, I know I'll be able to uh, to get the, the nut back on it. And so right now I'm just trying to work this buzzer in just into the squeeze part. There we go. Got it. I'll set it into the frame and then from here I'll probably run the screws into the frame real quick. I should lock tight these in because I got a feeling these fucking things are going to fall out if I don't. But for now I'm just going to try and get them to see. These are pretty small. They're probably 1.5s. These uh these speed handles that you can get, man, holy shit, they're they're amazing. It's really awesome. I highly recommend them. I got mine at just the electronic superstore here. It's called the Hobby Set or Hobby RC Set or some shit like that. That's what it's called. You can probably find them online, Amazon, whatever. But these are totally worth getting the speed handles for this. For the tightening of these 1.5 millimeter, two millimeter, and two and a half millimeter. I think I have a three millimeter, and I have a. I think one. I think the one point five is the, the smallest that I have, but it works pretty good. I wonder if I should have fed that through there first. Now it's time to do it. I'm gonna unscrew in. So real quick, before I go any further on this, I'm just going to feed my FR Sky receiver through underneath the frame gap right there so that I can um, just take out the screw too. That way I can just take the whole front part out. Okay, I'm just going to push this through right here. I'm going to pull this up like this. And I'm going to set this out here like that. Okay, now I can screw this back in. I just want to make sure it's where it's going. So that once I get there, I'm not having to fight it down the road. That's kind of what my thoughts are right there. Because I, I would have to squeeze it through there later. So why, not, why wait? Why not just squeeze it through now before I put all the fucking screws in? And then I kind of handicap myself be kind of a handicap maneuver, you know, and the goal is this will sit somewhere probably this way. So there's a standoff that sits right here. Um. I don't want to put too much pressure on that or it's going to break those solders off, the solder joints. So we'll probably just go this way. I'll probably just have it come up here. I'll reheat shrink it and then I'll double sided sticky tape it on or zip tie it on. And then the receivers, I'm going to do one down and then I'll do one probably, how about maybe both down? Maybe I should do one up, one down. 
So I'll probably feed the antenna down on the back side of this, this LED board, come down right here, and then I'll shoot down off of a, maybe, how am I going to get it there? I don't know. I guess I could do dual up. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to put some thought into that. Normally what they do is they put this top plate in, and then they would put this antenna through the top plate like that, and then the this receiver would just kind of sit on top. It doesn't really have anywhere to go. And I'm not I'm not gonna have anywhere for it to go. But let's put in the standoffs, and then that'll kind of tell us where shit's gonna go once we have those on. So the standoffs are these things right here, and then they have two millimeter screws to come with them, which are these guys. It's just kind of to hold the frame together and give it stability. These will also get Loctited in, but I want to finish the build before I do any Loctiting today. Because last time I did a bunch of Loctiting, and then the fucking build blew up, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you guys can assume the amount of rage that I had over that scenario. Long story short, the manufacturer tried to blame me for fucking breaking it and not a faulty board. So I had to go through a whole process with them last night to finally get them to admit, okay, well, we'll just send you a new one. If, will that make you happy? Well, yeah, why do you think I'm fucking talking to you? Okay, we're not admitting fault in the fact that it failed, or we're not saying that we had any quality control issues. So, we're just going to send you a new one. I said, okay. I mean, that's kind of all I want anyway, right? It's just a new one, so I got a new one coming. But the problem is it's coming from fucking China. So, you know how long that's going to take to get her. Forever. If you order shit from China, order it like a month in advance. Because it's going to take 20-something days to get her by boat. And they are not going to pay for expedited shipping to reimburse me. Now this company on the other hand, where are they? Armitan, where are they? Great company, great pleasure to work with. They did expedite shipping. I had a problem with one of their motors. I proved it to them. And they said, yep, no problem. We'll send it out tomorrow. Expedited shipping so you have it. And I put it on my drone today. Flew with it today. Flew great. Problem solved with a new motor. So Armitan, great company. Buy their motors. Here you go, Armin, and you got a free plug. Free plug! Okie dokie. Check all these. Now, the final design of how we're going to do this. So here's what we got. Here is what we got. Where are we going to stick this guy? I guess I'm going to have to do something weird with this. Like... I'll have to like key trinket and then zip tie these two to like this bar. I don't know. I could go up right here and I could go up right here into like raised antennas. I guess the other thing I could do is I could go out the side, but I don't want to get near the blade, so no, we're not going to do that. So maybe we will go up and up, but I got to heat trink this first. So first things first. We gotta seal up this transmitter. Otherwise, it's gonna get beat up right here. Do I have a piece out already? No, nothing useful. I think one thing I am gonna do too, before I'm said and done, is I'm gonna take a, a thicker piece of. I wish I would have put some of this on this tube first to kind of clean that up. I mean, I could use some of the bigger stuff. Just feed the plug through and then shrink it down. I mean, or I could electrical tape this. I just, I just feel like it's too exposed like that. Do you guys agree with me on that? What do you think? I mean, I could use the thicker stuff and just shrink that down. I guess the other thing I could do is twist this. I could twist these, kind of get them to clean up a little bit, heat them up so they twist easier. Then once they're fully twisted, then slide some heat shrink down. 
something like that. Maybe. I don't know. It just feels too schmerp like that. I don't think I can stretch this out big enough to get over that plug. So I'd have to use the bigger size stuff. Do I have anything in between those two? I don't think I do. I think these two are the same size. Yeah, they are. I'm going to use this size anyway to heat shrink onto this guy. Alright, now. So I'm going to take just a little bit more of that. The size of the receiver. I'm supposed to say like that much. And what I plan to do is smash the ends of the heat shrink once it's hot. No, Smokey. No, move your thing. You're not coming out here. What's going on in there? Sounds crazy in there. Yeah, it's a I'm um, busy. Yes, I am. I am busy. I'm very busy. Oh, I saw him make her bed. Yo, dog. Actually, he was more like the kid. Well, he's both. Huh? He's both. He's yours and the kid's dog. This fucking gun gets hot. Okay, so that shit's about 10,000 degrees right now, because this fucking heat shrink gun, that bitch gets hot. So, what I'm going to do, woo, I'm going to fry my fingers, but fuck. I'm going to smash it down, and then I'm going to fry my fingertips off. So the reason for smashing it, so even if this goes in the drink, it won't get wet, yada yada, gets shrunk in. It's all good. Insulated, right? We're fucking insulated. That shit is no doubt insulated now. Fuck. That gun gets hot. Jesus Christ, that standoff's like a thousand degrees right now. I fucking melt my finger on it. Oh no, fuck. That's not good. The fucking ground wire came off. And I don't know if I have enough slack to fix it. Shit, I'm gonna have to. Some bitch. I'll have to solder a small piece of wire onto that. So, see, this is probably why I'm supposed to hot glue these. See here, this little guy. -na 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 -na. Tequila came off. Anyway. so far for over there. You are not supposed to be that far over there. So I gotta re-solder this fucking thing on, but now I don't think I'm gonna be long enough to get to where I wanna go, which is back here. So what the hell am I gonna do with this receiver? Take it next to your dad. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Did you give Smokey kissy? Say night night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, he was in his cave with him. Oh yeah, you're eating his dog food. Huh? Is he good? You like dog food? Say night night. Night night. What are you doing? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> He's crazy. All right, night night, Moo. Well, fuck. I think I kind of fucked myself. I know I can get this back on. I'm not worried about that. What I am worried about is where the hell I'm going to put this receiver, because I intended to push this further back. But I think when I heat shrunk, I heat, sh uh, I heat shrunk so much of the wire in there that I can't get it where I wanted it now. I'd have to free that wire, and I just already glued that shit in now. So maybe we should go forward. Maybe I can lift the standoff up and have enough room to tuck. I could probably slit this. Let's slit this real quick. When I heat shrunk that, I did not think about the fact that I needed the, all the wire I had to get it to the position I wanted it in. So now the problem I have is this shit is so gnarly heat shrink that I'm not going to be able to get, get it where I want it. So I need to cut back some of this fucking heat shrink to get it where I want it. See what I mean? Like, this shit is nuts. So I fucked that part up. Damn it. I shouldn't have heat shrunk it so far back. I should have just focused on the chip itself. Let's see if I can slit some of this open right here. So I jacked that up, boys. I need longer wires if I'm gonna do that. I should have left them longer and then just kind of smashed the wire underneath this thing. So I could cut the heat shrink off and then redo it and then fix my broken wire. So I guess I'm gonna have to do that because I don't know what else I'm gonna do here. I have too much heat shrink on her. I'm probably gonna end up cutting the wire again. fucking heat shrink, man. This shit is nuts. Maybe I'll just electrical tape this fucking thing. What do you guys think? This fucking heat shrink is insane. I'm gonna cut my finger. Oh, God. Oh, God, I moved my finger. Hmm. This shit is just too good.
You know what I mean? I bought this at the same electrical point that I bought these fucking speed handles. Dude, this guy sells the good shit. That's why it's fucking expensive, but Jesus Christ, man. When you smash this shit down, you ain't getting it off. Like, it's a fucking puzzle to get it out. I'm gonna get my parts out of here. Probably gonna rip my parts off before I get the fucking heat shrink off. You know what I mean? Sits. No fucking joke. Like, it adheres to everything. Like, look, it's pulling the antennas off this right now. Like, I just pulled one of the antennas off this receiver. Because it's so stuck to it. I'll have to cut that free. So these antennas, they just snap back in, so it's not a big deal that that came off. We'll just snap it back in, and then fucking glue it in, I don't know. I don't know. This heat shrink's too crazy for me right now. Shit is fucking no joke. It's gonna rip all these fucking wires off this and have to start over. See? I knew it. I knew it. Whatever. I'm starting over. Solder iron on. Where did uh, my antenna go? So just press the antenna back in. I'm gonna re-solder all this shit back together. I'm gonna pop all this shit off. We'll get some longer wire. I'll heat shrink it. We'll feed the wire. I'll, I'll solder them on here. We'll heat shrink it. Okay, long wire's on. We're gonna develop a whole new strategy for this right now. And other than what we're doing, which is not working. Okay, instead of trying to... Instead of trying to put it on and then figure it out. I'm going to figure it out and then put it on. If that makes sense. So, we're going to get our wires on here. We'll get our wires set. We'll get them nice and long. We'll then heat shrink this whole unit including encapsulating the wires in the heat shrink, do all that shit. We'll keep them all nice and long. And then when I go to put the whole thing together, like, let's use that, that's perfect. Like, then we can decide like, how we're going to do it. So, those are plenty long enough. That's why I said you can always save all your wire. Fuck it. You never know when you're going to need some mid-build. Normally I use a plug like this. I would use a plug, and then I would solder the plug onto pins, and then I would put the plug in like this. This is normally how I would use this. The problem is between this receiver and this plug, that's like the whole size of this drone. So where the hell am I going to put that? So that's the one reason why I'm not using one of these plugs this time. I don't have enough room to. So I gotta direct solder the receiver on. So that's the angle we're going. We're gonna start over. Let's do it. From scratch, right now, ready, set, go. Get a little dip on there. First step will be to just use your thumbnail. Okay, we're just going to pull the tip of the wire off with our thumbnail. Just grab it, pull, and it's off, okay? 
We're going to dip it in the flux, and we're going to be on standby because then the next will join that to that board. It'll be a lot easier to do it this way because I'm not fighting short wires and the weird board and all that other shit that we have to deal with. So, hot iron's hot. We're ready to rock. Let's try not to lose the receiver. Okay, we've already fluxed them, so then we're just going to touch the soldered side to the wire, tin it up. That's how I do it. That's how the Marine Corps taught me how to do it. Some people say push it into the wire, let it free flow, but this is the way I was taught. So you can do it however you want. It is up to you. So I know the square is the yellow wire because that is our signal wire. Okay, the red is our the red is our voltage wire. And the black is our ground wire. Okay, so those are now soldered back on. Okay, much cleaner solder than last time. Feeling good about it. So this time we will heat shrink it again. I don't give a shit if I encapsulate the wires again this time. So. We'll cut ourselves a piece of shrink that is a decent capture on the wires so they don't break. There's a way that max you can never know. I was gonna say, is there a way I could notch this so I could still see the, the LED lights, but I don't think there is. Whatever. I'm just gonna use it. Like I said, this this fucking thing gets hot. All right, we're nice and hot now. I'm going to be smart this time and not use my fingers. Damn, look at that. That's crazy. It's got like glue in it or some shit. Oh, God, it's glued to the table. Get it off where it fucking cools off. Whew. I think that's why. You see the shit that's squeezed out? I think that's like some sort of hot glue or some shit. That shit's nuts. So I, I bet you that when this cools off, this is 100% completely sealed. I bet you this fucking thing's waterproof. Right there. Waterproof. This fucking heat shrink is crazy. It's so good. It's uh, NTE Electronics Inc. Dual wall heat shrink. Ratio 3 to 1. Sorted sizes. Good stuff. So, extras, keep the extras. You never know when you're going to need it. So, now, now, we can decide how we want this receiver to sit. So, I can actually feed these fucking wires now somewhere. Like I can feed them down here, like so. We'll pull them through. We'll decide. Can I see how much you got done? Yeah. How much did you get done? A lot. I think I'll take out these screws, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to smash the tail, the squishy part of the wire right here. I'm going to smash it between the top of this antenna and just kind of in there. Oh my god, Smokey is crazy. He, he, tell me what 
today he when I was holding him, he farted on me. Did he? Yeah, and did it stink? He and then after when my mom put him in his cage, he pooped, and then he 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 stuck up to my socks, man. He runs up to me. I think he loves the puppy. Bugs, do you love the puppy? Yeah. He's sleeping right now. He's is, is he your new best friend? Yeah, but he's out of control, man, when he's after a nap. After a nap or before? After a nap. After his nap. He's out of control. Not before. He runs that fast, huh? I he speeds up when I get close to his steps, and then I have to jump. You gotta jump? Yeah, I have to jump before he catches my socks. Is he and trying to bite your feet? No, he's trying to get my socks. What's he trying to do to your socks? He's trying to rip my socks, and I have to run his socks. He's trying to, he's trying to chew my feet. He's trying to, he's trying to bite your socks? Yeah, he does. He's, he's trying to chew on my feet. So you got to run away from the dog when he's trying to bite your feet. Yeah. No, I said chew, not bite. Well, I mean, it's the same thing, isn't it? No. Doesn't he chew to bite? I uh, don't He, <laughs> he chews on stuff. His teeth on got sharp, but um, he like. And one time he was shaking me, and I, and I, and he starts chasing me when I get close to him. And oh my gosh, one time when I get close to his steps, he turns his speed up to like 800 miles per hour. He goes, he goes. What you're saying is he goes pretty fast. Yeah. Any of your racing joints? I don't think so. <laughs> yes, he does. I don't think so. Oh, yes, he does. I don't think so. Oh, do you think he can go faster than a car? Who? Smoking? Yeah. Do I think he can go faster than a car? Or do I think that you can go faster than a car? I can go faster than a car. No. Remember, you said my top speed's 10 miles per hour. I didn't say that. I think yes. you said that. You said that. No, I think you did. Oh, you did. I think you did. You forget the question you say, right? <laughs> Alright. So, here's where we're at. I think when I pull this down like this, I think I'll just zip tie this. Good. Good day. Okay. I got the battery. Is, uh, I think I'll just zip tie this thing down so it's flat with the frame right here. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I'll just zip tie it right here. Or just go around these two frames right here. I don't know. Something. Because I also want to keep this antenna in the center. And then I think for these, I don't know where the hell I'm going to put these antennas yet. Normally what I would do, what I would have done last time, is I zip tied these up like this. I still might do it. I can, I've, I'll show you what I mean. So you take a little zip tie like this. I wonder if I can just zip tie this in right now. Get these little spacers that are here already. some shit like that, I don't know. And then normally what I would do is I would then heat shrink this antenna onto something like that. Maybe down, have one that goes straight down. So when I say heat shrink it on, I would take a tube like this and then shrink this down. Like 
do that. Something like that. Just set this here. So we do something like that for that top one. The biggest thing I'm concerned about is keeping this antenna away from this blade. This blade's going to spin right here. But I do not want this to get hit by that blade. The good news is they're putting a lot of pressure on that connector so I can actually fuck with this antenna. Okay, Daddy, my car's dry in front of the shower. Look how clean they are now. How fucking dry. Yeah, they're looking good, huh? Yeah. So that's done. This is the second antenna. I don't know where the hell I'm going to fucking zip tie this thing to. I contemplated, like I said, going straight down with it. There's no really good spots in this frame to capture like a, a little slot on the frame. I'd love to put it down like that off the zip tie, but I might be able to do it. Look how it looks. Thumbs up if you like my car. Ugh, can you pick those up for me? How many are here? Brother, I'm messing with my zip tie bag constantly. Little turd. My drone has a hat, right? It has a hat? Go, my fish is my fish is still pooping. Your fish are obviously full of poop, like you. No, I'm not full of poop. Yeah, you are. You are. That's, you are. It's true. So what I think I'm gonna do is just zip tie this right here, like that. I'll cinch that all the way down, like this. Oops. Cinch that down like that, and now we'll do the same little trick with the heat shrink on this one as well. So I'll grab a length of this tube. This shit's probably too small. So we'll feed this antenna up into this thing. Like so, and like so. We're going to try D sound. Okay. So we can actually see where that antenna ends. It ends right there. So I'm going to cut it right there. Look at that. There we go. I should have decent coverage on both angles now. Okay, so that part's done. Our receiver's in, our antenna's good. Hopefully that stays right there. If not, I'll have to figure something else out. I just need to either electrical tape or zip tie down these, these wires so they don't bounce up. They should all stay in place. I got a blue Loctite all the screws, so I gotta go back through and then blue Loctite the whole thing, but we are almost done with our build. Pretty cool little build though, huh? So, just for comparison, this is how big this little guy is. He fits in the palm of my hand. This is the first one of these that has been built here in the United States. Huh? I am the first guy to build one of these here. Does that make you guys feel proud of me? No, you guys don't give two shits. <laughs> you guys don't fucking care.
Normally these are built in China and then shipped over, assembled. So thinking back, I probably should have gone around the back side of that and then came up under there to make it cleaner, but it's fucking it is what it is. One thing I still want to do is heat shrink this on. I need to re-solder these wires down. So we're gonna get them to the length that we want them. I'm just gonna heat them real quick while I braid them. That's as hot as the curling iron? Yeah, for sure. You okay? Yeah. It's just hot. It's not supposed to be that hot. Yeah, it is. It's a heat gun. That's what it does. It gets hot. Do you have a cold gun? No. No, no cold guns, baby. Just heat guns. Alright, so... If somebody's so hot, they can't even drink. You might need a so, so, so cold gun. I think I'm going to leave these a little bit longer, so that, and I'm just going to stuff them behind the camera once I get them on. I think that's what my intention is there. So... Just tightening and screwing these all together. I mean, uh, twisting them up so I can just come in, get them nice and twisted, hit them with solder, trim off the ends, and then so those are all twisted now. It's already hot. Let's just burn off some of this extra crap that's on here. Okay. Now. That was almost all that. That splash almost go down my motor. That would have been ugly. Okay. Trim those down so they're not as fat and long. Okay. You're still looking good here. Okay, so now yellow is signal. So we know that's our S plus connector. That'll go on last. The first one to go on will be our 5 volt. Now, here's the tricky part, right? I gotta solder on this thing, and it's pretty much assembled now. And like I told you, it'd be my dumb luck that I'll have to take this stupid thing apart, which I do, and solder it back together if I can't get this. So. I'm going to try my best to get this. It shouldn't be that hard, to be honest with you. It really shouldn't be that hard. So I got that one on. Next is the... No, you call my name. No. Say my name? No. Do you want me to say your name? Mm -hmm. Marcus. 
I'm gonna burn my finger. Bad angle. Okay, so we gotta do it from this top way if I can figure out how to get it to stay. This top angle. Hey, what's Sometimes you just gotta use what you got, man. Hey, what's after 700? 701. 702. Ooh. What's the end of 700? 799. Oh, no, the end. Well, if it was, doesn't it go all the way up to 1 trillion? Not 700. Okay, what's the last number it goes up on that thing? On what thing? On that thing for the 79. 700 is the temperature that it's set to. So this is really hot. Have you, have you burnt yourself with that before? Yep. Oh, did it burn? Were you crying? No. Were you crying? I wasn't there. You, you know? See, these are ugly solder joints, and I want to touch them again, but I know if I touch them, the wire is going to come off, and I won't be able to get it back on as easily. So it's kind of what I'm like. Who really gives a shit what it looks like as long as it works, right? Shit, see? I knew it. As soon as I touched it, bing, came right off. Should have just left it. Hashtag next time just fucking leave it. Sorry. You guys can see that when I was trying to do it, but they didn't come out the greatest, but I'm just going to leave them because if if I keep screwing with them, I'm going to cook the pad that they're on and I just don't even want to deal with it. So I might zip tie those right there. Come here, Bugs. Tell me night. Don't be here tomorrow. Hopefully. Kiss. Love you. Sleepy good. Say night to everybody. Night night. Alright. Well, let's see if we can't zip the heat shrink down this tube. I really want to use one of these. I don't know if I can get it over that though. one of the bigger ones. I tried to stretch out the smaller stuff to see if I can stretch it out long enough, but I can't. I'm just going to use oh, this guy. It's not good. So let's cut it. Um, probably it's a little bit shorter. Let's cut it like that. this down. There we go.
Let's fry my fingertips. And there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves an HDLRC Hornet. Freshly assembled using an HDLRC 428 instead of the 413 because the 413 is a piece of shit. And everything else is HDLRC except for the free sky receiver, of course. So, without further ado, I think we should program it. Let's set it up. Let's get it configured. Let's then try flying it. Well, at least turning it on. Right here in the garage. Let's see if we can get this bad boy spun up. The build portion is done. So now we go to the configuration portion, which I have to reopen that. We're going to go to this screen. I'm going to try and minimize this down so it doesn't encompass everything. I'm going to cover my OBS window. Like that. Let's get back into the drone. And... I need to conf configure the modes. I need to do a lot of to open TX. things. So we're going to get into the basic configuration now for how these things work. Um, so I'm going to, we're on the screen, right? Where you can see what I'm doing. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to come into my controller here. I'm going to edit the Hornet itself because we want it to edit the actual build that we're going to do. We have the fail safe already set, which says no pulses. That means that if the radio, if it stops receiving signal from the radio, it will just fall. Um, we're going to add some things to our mixer. And what we're adding to our mixer is the channels that we're going to have certain things come out of. So like that's my arm switch. I'll set this switch right here to be my mode select and then I need one for my beeper on this guy. So I'm going to set my beeper. Uh, maybe we'll use the switch. Maybe we'll use that switch. Um, okay, so now what, what this is, is this basically says tell the radio that when I use this switch it's going to broadcast on channel 5 and then we go to the computer screen now and basically what's going to happen is we're going to come over here to the to the add range okay I'm going to flip the switch I might have to plug a battery in I don't know if we're actually receiving does the receiver work without a battery? probably not no it doesn't okay so I'm going to plug my I'm going to turn my soldering iron off I don't need that on plug this battery in now we're seeing the values come across, so we know they're good. We're going to come back to modes. I'm going to come back to add arm. I'm going to flip my switch. It's going to set it. So I'm going to tell this that basically when my switch is in the upright position, when it's in this position, you see the little yellow line right here on the screen, right there. And then you'll see it switched right here. So it's saying when it's inside this range, you're going to arm the quad. And that means that it'll start turning on. Okay, we're going to come down here. We're going to add an angle mode, which would be this switch. We're going to have angle mode on this on this key. And what angle mode means is that we're going to use the gyro. We're going to add horizon, and then we're going to add, there's an air mode. Where's the air mode? I should say air mode or acro. We're going to turn this on. This is going to be the same switch, but fully up that way. So I'm going to slide that over. We're going to look for the beeper. The beeper is right here. I'm going to set that to the beeper which means that the switch will be all the way towards me. And that's all I got. So now when I flip that switch, the beeper turns on. That's why it was just beeping at me because the switch was still flipped. So all that part's done. Now, we will 
let's see. Hmm. Why aren't you arming? I suppose I should look in the goggles. Let's check real quick. Oh, it's on the wrong channel. I think. Oh, maybe it's because it's too There we go. The radio was too close. Why is the beeper beeping every time I arm? What's it supposed to? Okay. Maybe it's supposed to. I don't know. Anyway, next part is we're going to check the motor direction. So this is motor one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. So basically I'm going to flip this switch right here, and I'm going to tell motor one to spin up just a little bit. And I'm just going to feel which way it's pulsing. So it is spinning the correct way. I'm going to move to motor number two. It's spinning in, correct? Damn it! Lost signal on my cable. So my cable's a piece of shit. All right, so we're on to motor number three. Motor number three is going to spin towards the back and center. Let's see. It's correct. Now motor number four is going to spin towards the front. Wow, they're all spinning the right way. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever had that happen. So, we're good here. So everything is set up. This thing is ready to basically test fly at this point. So. The only thing that scares me is I can see the ground and I can see the positive right there. So I might just take some of my fucking nasty goop and I might just cover those just so that I don't have to fucking shock myself on accident. So I'm going to use what's called a liquid electrical tape. Just pull that plug out. Just fucking slather it in there. So we're going to let that dry for a minute. That shit's nasty. I want to get it all over my fingers. And uh, we're pretty much done with this build, boys. So from here, I'd put the blades on. I would check the direction of the blades, make sure that the blades are spinning the right way. I should probably electrical tape these wires down. I might just do a little quick electrical taping on those to keep those from popping up in my face. Night night. The dog? Yeah. Yeah. Night night. Who's that? That dealer in Texas. Building a drone right now too. No, he's uh, giving away a free drone, so. Shit, if I can win a free drone, I'm gonna take it. Alright. Oh shit, I put three.
Okay. Oh, let me get back to the full size screen since we're done configuring. There we go. Bam! It's done. We've done it. It didn't blow up. We are all good. I think I'm going to end it on that note as well. So from here, I'm going to put the blades on tomorrow. We'll do a little test fly in the garage, then we'll fly it out around the yard. So tune back for t flight footage tomorrow. But at this point, I'm going to put the drone, I'm going to clean my workstation. I'm going to put the drone down, and I'm going to I'll pick it up tomorrow. So if you guys like the stream, share it with your friends, put it on. It's going on YouTube eventually. Uh, I'll probably push it across. Our build time is 3 hours and 20 minutes from start to finish. Not bad. And that's because I didn't have to do a lot of the motor work because the wires are already cut like tinned and cut and already in length so anyway if you guys like this footage like the channel like subscribe do all that fun stuff like on twitch wait yes yeah, subscribe youtube all that fun stuff anyway till then peace guys thanks